myself as an IT guy, basically. So I'm talking about infrastructure. I'm not talking about the usage and the, and the scientific stuff. I'm sorry about that. But you will hear lots of lots of talk about science behind. I will talk about the infrastructure because we are passionate about infrastructure and also about GPU because uh, for uh, quite some time, like uh, 10 years now, we are serving our users GPU based HPC. <clears throat> and for, for quite a long time, we've been, uh, we've been a provider for uh, Hungarian community, including uh, research in academia, uh, providing uh, GPU resources as well as CPU resources and uh, co-processors and so on. So we are uh, the Hungarian uh, academic and research infrastructure provider. So we are also providing like a network infrastructure in, uh, for, for most of the universities and academia. And we are building our uh, services upon that. So uh, you, most of you probably are already using our infrastructure without knowing it, because uh, we are yeah, serving basically most of the academia with the network. Uh, so if you are like uh, seeing like Eduroam uh, or, or uh, connecting to this infrastructure or you're using um, your uh, internet, most of the schools also, that's uh, what, what we are doing. Uh, so we are trying to build her uh, infrastructure services on that, and one of them is HPC. Um, we've got um, history in HPC. Uh, we are we are doing it for twenty years now, and uh, uh, and we are quite proud uh, to be uh, upgrading the infrastructure very very soon with the latest hardware. Uh, so what I, I will talk about uh, a very few words, but HPC is. Uh, and, and talk about the program here, and uh, and then and move on for our development projects and all the details uh, uh, which I can share now. Uh, so so just basic few words of HPC is so HPC is a central uh, computing capacity uh, offering uh, for for all the scientific um, uh, institutions that are does not have the bigger capacity they would need for their projects or their research. Uh, so that uh, would uh, require uh, generally a nation to have a central computing facility uh, which they can use and have the researches to be faster, uh, to, to be run faster and, and have the cost and time reduced uh, and, and have faster results and bigger results and have like a, a real breakthrough to be achieved with bigger hardware if they need so that's that the scale of hardware is not the typical if it's in the budget of one institution that's uh that the hpc is the hpc is typically uh, very tightly coupled to a number of um, uh, um, servers that has a very uh, tight connection with each other and also very obviously uh, cutting edge hardware inside uh, so all the nodes and all the, the storage itself is connected to, uh, to so very tightly coupled with each other to have this very fast process uh, in power uh, on one big project. So uh, typically clusters or clouds are allowing to have a, a separate processing power in, in, uh, for, for the servers themselves, uh, but not scaling for many, many of the servers, uh, uh, HPC is capable of doing that. So have very special connection, tight connection. There must be obviously one data center, all, all, all the, the nodes and so on. So about our current uh, facilities, we've got um, uh, a huge uh, GPU solution machine, but uh, it's uh, already five year old. So it had about uh, uh, 240, GPUs in it, uh, offering about um, 264 teraflops of computing power, which means uh, yeah, double precision uh, floating uh, point um, uh, computation per second. So uh, our biggest machine is now in Budapest, 
and now uh, we have uh, uh, Kepler GPUs K20, K40s in it, but it's obviously becoming older and older, but still a, a very nice machine to, to try scaling and, and to use. Uh, it's, it's heavily used, so, it, so you can tell it's like, uh, it's like uh, uh, queuing uh, most of the projects there. It's, it's, a, it's a continuous usage. Uh, or still and those machines. One of our machines are shared memory. So like the mainframe, you can actually address all the memory. Uh, on the applications like, uh, you know, uh, 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 the gene sequencing or something like that would require a huge amount of memory. Uh, to Stable, but let's hope for the best. Um, so what we are doing now is uh, we've got a, a bigger project here, uh, not only an infrastructure for redeveloping projects. So what we start is basically a whole building a whole new knowledge center project with the competence center. So the HPC competence center is now established in Hungary, uh, which is also part of Euro HPC efforts. So this is a, a Europe-wide effort of uh, you know growing competence in HPC because it's quite special infrastructure, uh, also quite uh, expensive infrastructure. So you should have knowledge to use it, and uh, uh, it's a bit obviously generally a bit harder to 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 reach to use and so on. So we've got the competence center, a number of staff actually. Uh, working on knowledge bases, tutorials, workshops, conferences, and uh, and PR stuff, and and so on. So you can find us at hpc.kifu.hu. Um, we've got also a connection for SMEs, so we are open for uh, the smaller organizations not coming from academia. And uh, we are building, obviously, the infrastructure itself. I will talk more about the infrastructure itself, uh, but you should also visit our site for the competence part. Uh, so we've been serving the community for 20 years now. There's a really nice sub page at our uh, web page uh, for if you want to see what, uh, what was the beginning of those uh, really nice uh, Sun uh, HPCs uh, in the past. Uh, now we are aiming to keep us, uh, keep Hungary in the top 500 list of birds, top 500 most powerful machines list, and aiming to have a new machine uh, that would be installed in our uh, already existing uh, green uh, data center in Debrecen, which is really nice, award winning uh, uh, architecture there. And uh, we are uh, wanting to have uh, mostly free cooled, warm water cooled uh, system with waste heat reuse. Uh, we, we will have about one megawatt of power to serve this new infrastructure there and have uh, most of the cooling capacity and UPS facility uh, serving uh, there and this would allow us to actually reuse the waste heat also and uh, allow us to use uh, specific uh, chillers for uh, not using uh, uh, these compressed machines to to have uh, a plastic cooling infrastructure but instead you would only most of the vents only uh, for most of the day, to free cooling is not just you know just uh, these events to uh, to to generate uh, uh, airflow instead of uh, using the machinery to produce cool water there, and also this is a water spray system which means makes it uh, uh, cooler on the warm days. Um, we are also working on the acoustics for for the nearby facilities, not to not to uh, affect those with with uh, with this uh, new uh, machinery that will run uh, and make make noise obviously. So we are moving out from our, our current facility. 
Uh, so all our current HPCs are now moving out uh, uh, and the main GPU machines or the, uh, in Budapest, so moving out from Pedersen to Budapest, and, but uh, you can reach it with all uh, those uh, machine um, IPs and what you used before. And our new Uh, and the and the Hungarian dog breed uh, already uh, and coming from from the area of the Bresen. and this was uh, one, one of the books uh, which was uh, uh, pro coming from a community when they, we asked them what, what to what the what, what to name the new uh, machine, and if you'll be a cray cray is the one of the most um, uh, uh, high end uh, HPC vendors out there. With, with, with very uh, big heritage of producing HPC hardware. Uh, and, and now uh, we will have this very, very dense high-end machine installed, the very same one that all of the big European and, and uh, US vendors will also uh, use. This, this hardware is a mini exascale machine. So, so uh, the very same one will be uh, those systems that will be installed in pre exist scale in Europe, the Lume in Finland would be one of the pre exist scale machines in Europe built within one year, and the new US exist scale machine built within one year will be based on very same technology what we will uh, using here, obviously in a smaller scale. So what's under the hood? So the so that's about two, uh, 20 thousands of CPU cores inside and more than 200 GPUs. We're already planning an upgrade here. So we are aiming to have at least 10 percent more of uh, GPUs and CPUs inside. That would add up for at least four pet flops of uh, GPU computing power. Uh, and uh, almost one pet flops of CPU computing power at the end of the upgrade. Uh, that would mean we will have GPU accelerated nodes and CPU only nodes as well. Uh, I'm going to talk about the shared memory system with, with one big memory to be addressed by one application, one OS with nine terabytes of memory addressable. And uh, we are working on um, AI partition uh, with GPU nodes uh, that would have eight GPU uh, within one node to have a uh, highly workloads. And it will have a very big uh, uh, super fast storage uh, with, with, with uh, NVMe disks and so on. So you can find the details on our homepage. So if you're interested in uh, we've got the, the exact uh, processor types here, the amount of RAM within the nodes, uh, the interconnect, and, and we will have details on, we will also uh, will have um, archive system with 10 petabytes of storage. I, I can talk a lot about why we're choosing but uh, let's move to software. So there, if you can see the software here, uh, those, those will be licensed the uh, available for academia. Uh, uh, so most of the, the high-end HPC software will also be available. Um, contact us if you want any, any other specific software uh, for this uh, already. Uh, installed in, in, in uh, HPC uh, environment, uh, we, can, we might want to uh, purchase uh, them as well. So uh, we've got a new portal system. We're planning to have uh, containers and Jupyter uh, to, be, to be available in uh, new machines, but obviously we won't uh, have container running facilities only because we would need still, people generally need still hardware and, and their own way to bring their software. And we would want to support them also with the deployment, an automated deployment process. 
uh, so one can actually use some kind of uh, data provider there and build a software automatically and then do the visualization as well at the end. So we have a, a visualization subsystem at the end. You can actually uh, check your data in 3D. If you want to see uh, our uh, publication of resources at HPC Echo on our site, check it out. Uh, for uh, the conference uh, of our users to actually talk about the use cases uh, of, uh, of our HPC. It will most probably be virtual only, but, uh, but please check if you're interested. We will have a very complex um, system of support. So if you don't really uh, know what HPC is, you, we can we can have your project be run on HPC. Most probably, just contact us with the different kinds of support solution. And also, we are hiring hiring if you're interested and you want to work with HPC in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So you mentioned Lumi and the US exascale computers. Uh, are you going to have AMD GPUs as well or NVIDIA GPUs? No, NVIDIA only for its son. Yeah. Uh, we, we believe that um, AMD GPUs will have a uh, similar kind of performance and usability within, within a year or so. Uh, but currently, we, we can see that the the ecosystem behind NVIDIA is much more advanced currently, uh, which would make our users to be too easy to adapt to these uh, 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 GPUs. But in terms of price performance, uh, AMD is, is now uh, very comparable or even more advanced. Okay, for the next question. I have one. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Please. Okay. Uh, so, how how can you say a few words on how one gets access and what is the pricing? Because in Hungary we have this kosbeszerzés <laughs> that's a pain in the. <clears throat> okay. So um, currently the HPS is open for uh, academia and research for free. Uh, we are now in the process of uh, for 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 our offering to, to greater offering for SMEs uh, and and our, our actual cost uh, to 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 in the future of how we would offer our services for SMEs as well. But now we are uh, launching pilots for SMEs, which would also be free at the beginning. Uh, so just contact us and and we will we will uh, answer you. Uh, specifically for your project. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you, you already started to answer it. Uh, my question was about uh, what kind of SME connections do you have or what kind of partnerships are you seeking? Uh, all kinds of. So, so uh, we are currently building up our SME uh, ecosystem. Uh, we, we would want to have a separate uh, offering, for example, the software infrastructure, uh, the portal system, and so on for SMEs dedicated. Uh, we are seeking all kinds of uh, collaborations. So just to speak to us and, and, and we will see. Great, thank you. Okay, uh, yes, yes, Engagements uh, is your infrastructure more uh, well prepared for uh, dedicated hosting, or uh, do you also have uh, capacity? If it will be dedicated or on demand, uh, we are working generally on an on demand basis. Uh, that would mean that the all, all users have to queue. Uh, and, and our schedule will actually uh, allocate the resources for them. So uh, most of the users won't be able to actually use uh, our infrastructure uh, as they have their proposals submitted, but, but for some time as, as after they
that's how it works now. Okay, thank you very much. So thank you very much. Thank you.